It's not found in any law book. There is no act that specifically addresses bullying. I don't think this is a situation where we could have one all-encompassing law that addresses every type of bullying. Because we have online bullying, we have bullying that addresses, for instance, uh, sexual orientation, gender. People are bullied because they're considered fat, they're considered ugly. People are punched, people are shunned. How do you write that into an act? So lawyer Corey Steinberg of Double Diamond Law in Whistler looked to other avenues when a co-worker's son named Daniel was victim to bullying in an Ontario high school. Instead of looking to tort law or an administrative tribunal, in 2007-2008, the then Toronto lawyer filed action with the Ontario Human Rights Commission, a unique approach at the time. The school board seemed to take the position, well, there's a problem, there's a problem within our school, how do we make the problem go away? And, and one of the ways would be for Daniel to change his schedule, for Daniel to stop going to a particular bus stop. No responsibility was placed on the bully, nor on the school as guardians. Daniel's voice was lost in the face of both. Two years of physical acts and threats of violence continued to crush him into emotional and physical disarray. It wasn't until he sat down in a law office where he found a grown-up willing to take a 17-year-old's concerns seriously and take action. I didn't claim to be an expert in bullying or anything like that, but it just seemed to me that this was either a breach of human rights or a, a tort. When people start seeing this as something that would otherwise be criminal in another context, it takes on a different tone. It's no longer two kids whining. It is one person arguably assaulting another person and causing damage. Somebody would essentially physically attack you at a bus stop. It would be reported to the school. They'd want to deal with it in-house as though it's a little schoolyard scuffle. Well, if this had been two men in a bar, people would have been taken to jail. I mean, it's as simple as that. Through his case, Steinberg forced others to look at bullying in a different way, and the results were heartening. His confidence went way up. He stopped engaging in various behavior that was certainly a symptom of his bullying. Daniel, who at the time was, was not doing so well in school, he's now gone on to university. His mother, and as well as Daniel, have started the York Region Anti-Bullying Coalition, which is essentially an advocacy group for kids who are being bullied, parents who need support, and they provide information and, and try to help work with both government and non-governmental bodies to address bullying issues. With small claims court compensation in BC rising from a ten dollars to $25,000 cap, more legal action is being generated and the financial consequences for bullies and school boards are greater. It just required a different worldview and it's, I think it's coming around now. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV.